Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to compute the sine of 5 pi over 3. There's all kinds of ways that people do this, but I think this is probably one of the best ways because it requires minimal memorization. So first, when you see the sine of 5 pi over 3, your mind should immediately go to the sine of pi over 3. Right, 5 pi over 3 is one of those special angles, and its reference angle is pi over 3. Then you have to have this memorized. That's the key. So this is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. So this is one of those things where memorization is really, really important. You know, people say, oh, memorizing is not good. I'm also not a fan of memorizing stuff, but like this is one of those cases where you really need to memorize it. So it's that. So now our answer is either going to be this or it's going to be this. It's one of these two. I actually haven't thought about it yet. But once you know this, once you memorize this and you look at sine 5 pi over 3, the angle is going to be this or the opposite. So all you do now is you try to figure out where 5 pi over 3 is on the unit circle. So this is 0, this is pi over 2, this is pi, and this is 3 pi over 2. And then this here is 2 pi. What I like to do to figure out where it is, is I think of pi and 2 pi as numbers over 3, because there's a 3 here. So pi is 3 pi over 3. And then 2 pi is 6 pi over 3. Ah, so you know over here in quadrant 3, if you're at 3 pi over 3 and you travel with pi over 3 more, that puts you at 4 pi over 3. If you're over here, pi over 3 less will put you here. So this is 5 pi over 3. So that tells us something. That tells us that the angle's terminal side is here. Why is that important? Because on the unit circle, sine is the y-coordinate. And the y-coordinate here is negative. That means that the sine of 5 pi over 3 is negative square root of 3 over 2. This method requires a lot of thinking and requires a lot of prior knowledge. But the beautiful thing about this method is that it requires you only memorize one thing. And everything else that I just went through and explained is actually really useful for other areas of trig. So it's like, it's like a way of doing it with minimal memorization. I hope this video has been helpful.